Two local priests tell the I team they were unfairly disciplined by the Buffalo Diocese. Three other priests were placed on a leave of absence for having a conversation some say is inappropriate. Tonight, I team chief investigator Charlie Specht takes a closer look at what happened. We want to warn you, though, some of the details that you are about to hear are graphic. The conversations that led to the suspensions of three priests were graphic. More than a dozen seminarians at Christ the King Seminary and testimony obtained exclusively by Seven Eyewitness News say they were plied with alcohol before the older priests engaged in, quote, highly inappropriate and vulgar conversation. Father Art Matalki of St. Peter and Paul Church in Hamburg reportedly told one seminarian he heard the young man's parents having sex on a retreat and went into detail. Other conversations among Matulki and Fathers Bob Orlowski and Patrick O'Keefe included talk of, quote, a priest who taught at the seminary and used to go to truck stops for sexual acts. Two of the priests, according to the testimony, called a female friend and asked if a friend wanted to have sex with a seminarian. One employee of the seminary told Seven Eyewitness News, what happened was disgusting, absolutely repulsive. But two other priests who were also there tell a different story. My feel of the event is that it was, it was a nice gathering where there was a, I thought there was good conversation that took place. There was some real conversation and it was overall good. Father Brian Zelineski says he and Father Cole Webster attended the party on April 11th. The Seven Eye Witness News I team has since learned the diocese has reprimanded both of them for not doing more to stop the conversations. They say they got letters in their file without being able to tell their side of the story. Are you saying that, you know, that this stuff was okay or that you didn't hear it or, you know, how you interpreted it when you were shown this or read this document? The aspects of it, no, I did not hear it because you're in different areas of the room. Um, you know, when you are gathered together in a relaxed atmosphere and when, we, when you start to really get into the nitty gritty of ministry and you start to really try to be real, you do let your guard down a little bit. I'm not saying that, you know, everything is a, you know, a, a holy dialogue, but I'm saying we, you, you have real conversations and some of it um, sometimes can get into real specifics and, you know, we have to work on that. Do you think it's, it's appropriate for, you know, a person, a, a priest to be you know, talking about this kind of stuff? Well, a lot of the stuff in the, you know, having read the report, um, you know, in which I preached on this past weekend, I denied ever even hearing, um, you know, and some of it, um, like, I just don't even understand, um, you know, how they could have maybe interpreted things um, that are in there. You're not saying that this stuff is okay, what was said in here, that it's, like, appropriate. No, and what I've no. said, what I said in my own investigation, that it was false. Some of it was false. That report says that uh, they felt forced to stay and fed drinks. That was not the case. There's going to be people out there who are going to look at this and say, "Geez, you know, what, what kind of stuff is happening in our seminary in this diocese?" And what would you say to that? Formation. <laughs> That's what's happening in our seminary in our diocese. I, I mean. Mm -hmm. The seminary as a as a task, and it's a difficult task. It's a task mm -hmm. of taking men who have responded to the call mm -hmm. and helping them to discern how is that Holy Spirit bringing them to the point of ordination. We are just trying to be authentic and share ourselves, and so do the people of God try to be authentic, and they need counsel and spiritual guidance and their messy situations. We did speak with an employee of the seminary who told us that there is a good group of men coming up through the seminary who have, quote, joined for all the right reasons, and they are constantly being exposed to what they consider inappropriate sexual behavior among some of the older priests. They say that they had a duty in this case to come forward. You can read all this testimony on our website, wkbw.com. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News.